Today's video regarding HP NY6032 all in one printer. I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a setup of this printer and a review. Let's start with that. So the first step is to switch on the printer. So press the power button which is at the back side of this printer. It will switch on the light. Also after some time this light will change into the purple. That means it's ready for the setup for the first time. Now also we have to load the ink cartridges and the load the paper tray. So to load a paper tray that is at the bottom of this printer. So you just have to slide it out. So there is a size adjuster as you can see here. So you can just place the pages, A4 size sheets and close the tray. Now ink cartridge chamber is here. So open from this area and this door will hold itself. Now wait for the chambers to move here. Also take the ink cartridges out of the packaging. Also remove the orange seal which is at the bottom of these ink cartridges. Now you will see once they are here, open these locks, place the ink cartridge here one by one. So pink will go to the pink side. So this is the tricolor and lock it like this. So it's very easy to install and it will locate itself, the black ink cartridge. Now press the door downwards, it will close itself. Our print is ready for the setup. Now go to your device. For example, I have Android phone here and open the HP smart app and you can download this app from the app store on the top of the screen you get you see here the printer icon also the plus button so click on the plus button as we have to search for our printer and add it here on the next screen as we can see no printer found click on the setup a new printer and next it will show HP and Y six triple zero series printer click on that now it will show you the available network of your uh, Android device and if you want to change you can change the network from here or you can just enter the password. So once you enter the password click on the continue button and just wait for the printer and go through all the steps for the connection process. Now press the information button on the here we can see it is saying to press the flashing information button on your printer. So here we can see that's the information button. Click on, click it once. On the next screen we will see here the printer connected to the Wi-Fi. So click on the continue button. On the next screen it says the alignment required for the best print quality. So here we can click on the continue and it will print a page. So printing the alignment page. So here is the printer alignment page and open the top scanner lid, place it facing downwards on the left hand side corner as you can see here. Close the lid and you will see the one of the copy button is flashing so just click it once and it will start the scan. So now it's doing the alignment for the ink cartridges for the best print quality. Here we can see once we placed the scanning page there it says the alignment is on the progress. Alignment is complete so click on the continue button. You can also send a link to the other devices or click on note right now. And if you want you can print the page. So just, just for the confirmation click on the print a document as the setup is complete. Now it will take you to the next page where you can select as you can see the printer is on the top and number of copies you want and click on the blue icon. And now it will send a command for the printer to print a page. So here we can see the setup is complete. It displays the estimated level of ink left and it also adds the printer here. And we also get the welcome sheet here which shows that it is working and it is connecting. 
overall i can say the print is really good it's fast and efficient printer so it connects quickly with the wi-fi network of your home and office and it can connect to the 5 gigahertz internet thanks for watching